This is about primary chords. There are three chords in every key that if you know these chords, you can play thousands, and I mean thousands of songs, in rock songs, pop songs, you can play country, folk, um, a lot of blues, jazz, and these, these chords are called primary chords because they are used so much. There are also secondary chords, which will be covered in another video. They are the next used chords. All right, so there's we're going to learn the primary chords. There are three of them in every key. And let's say that I'm in the key of C. Here's middle C. I'm going to put finger one there. This is my right hand. And we want to put numbers to the keys all the way up. So C is one. So D is two. E is 3, F is 4, G is 5. If you know those keys, you know you can find the primary chords in any key. So the first tone of the scale, the 1, what we typically call the 1 chord, or in this case the C chord, is one of the primary chords. So if I play, we know how to make major and minor chords now. Our C chord is a primary chord in the key of C. That's easy to remember. And the other two chords, uh, one is on the fourth tone, one, two, three, four. So what's four? The fourth tone is F. So our F chord is another primary chord. And the fifth one is another primary chord. So, and this is G. So in the key of C, uh, the primary chords are C, F, and G. Those are the three most used chords in most genres of music. C chord, F chord, G chord. Now, um, if you if you are in any key and you put your thumb on the right hand on the key note, for example, this is the key of C, then really you can tell what the four, fourth and fifth tones are by looking at your uh, four and five fingers. So if you put five fingers over five notes, there you go. Your fourth is laying right on the four chord, F, and your five is laying right on the G, which is the fifth tone, which is the other primary chord. So if we were in the key of G, for example, um, G would now become number one. So we would, we would count up from here. So if I put my hand five fingers over five notes and take a look at where my fingers are, the G is the one chord in the key of G. So look at where my fourth finger is, C. So C chord is the four chord in the key of G. Now, I put it back on G. Look at where my fifth finger is. It's on D. D is another one of the primary chords, the five chord. So the one chord built on the first tone of the scale, the four chord built on the fourth tone of the scale, and the five chord built on the fifth tone of the scale identifies the most used chords in every key. And that is how we find primary chords.